All right, how y'all doing out there? All you God lovers? All you Jesus Christ lovers? All you apostles lovers? All you Christian lovers out there? Once again, I'm going to come back at you. It's Apostle Lakeith, Tyrone Lakeith Huffman. And we're going to start this off with a prayer. God, I pray that you bless this lesson that it touch and reach every soul and shield every man's heart. And I pray, God, that you bind evenness from each child of yours heart, God. And wherever the gospel is being teach, God, even if it's not three at that moment, God, but even if it's three, God, I pray that you bless them, God, and let their soul be filled with the word of God of the Holy Ghost, God. In Jesus' name, God, I pray that you help us bind Satan up, God, and cast them down, God, and help us to resist the enemy and show us how to resist the enemy and let that enemy flee, God. In Jesus' name, God, bless every family, bless every homeless family, bless every family house that's going to burn down this Christmas, that have burned down this Christmas, God. Bless the Toys, the Toys for Tots program up in the Brazos Valley, God. For big toys to come in, God. For every child to receive a gift, God. For the ones that ain't, ain't that aren't able to get a gift up under the Christmas tree or to afford a Christmas tree, God. I pray that you hear me, God. In Jesus' name, God, that I call you, God. Right now, God. Right now, we're going to go over the story of Adam and Eve. I want to know... To all you God lovers, why, why did Adam receive that forbidden fruit? Did he have a choice? Should he have been a leader? Should he have not bidden that forbidden fruit? Or should he, or did God tell him not to? Go near that tree of life or bite that forbidden fruit. I want to know why he did it. But I'm going to tell you right now God gave Adam commands and gave Eve commands. You can have any tree of the garden you want, you want, but do not go near the tree of life. Now, Let's talk. God formed man out of the dust of the ground and he breathed in the man's nostril. But before that, he said, Let's form man in our own image. Sure, so right. God formed man sure, right. sure, right. in their own image. God gave man control over all of the beasts and fire of the field. And Adam had a job to name every beast in that garden. And Adam looked around and he seen that every animal, species, beast had a mate. But guess what? Adam said, Everyone have a mate but me, God. So God put man in a deep sleep. And he took the real from Adam bone. And God created one man. Because this is flesh of Adam's flesh. So each one of us have a soul mate. And we are married in holy matrimony. But that don't mean no one have papers on anyone. We got a right to live or control our own life. We can fall in love. We can break up our marriage. We can be married for 50 years. Or we can obey God's voice. Now, Adam was God's child. Eve was God's child, a son and a daughter. 
mother and father of all nations. God gave Adam a command, gave Eve a command. Be fruitful and multiply. It didn't exact say that in the Bible at that time as I read the scriptures. But if they did right, they could be fruitful and they could multiply. But he gave them command. You could eat from any tree of the garden, but do not eat of the tree of life. Just as us right now, when we grow up and become adults, or we become a te or teenagers walking to the game together, coming home together, mother and father say, do not get with the wrong crowd. Say no to drugs. Do right by yourself. Do right by your mother and father. That's in the command, Ten Commandments. But back to the Garden of Eden. Do not eat of the tree of life. Okay? Now, Adam was out doing his chores and the woman was left alone. And the serpent came up, a talking snake, a talking snake. And the snake told Eve, do you not eat of this tree because God told us not to. If we eat of this tree, we will surely die. Okay, now watch this. The tempter. It don't matter if God warned him about the tempter or not. Because as we see God pause, as we witness his miracles, God tell, told them, do not eat of the tree. So if God created them, God created the serpent. But Adam and Eve had command over all things. You will not die if you eat of this tree, the serpent said. You will not surely die. That's you saying that. You mess it like And so they ate. So she ate a fruit. And by that time, Adam came up to her. Adam said, What are you doing, Eve? I imagine, I believe that he said this. So he ate of the fruit, but he didn't have to eat of that fruit. And as we all know, they heard the Spirit of the Almighty God walking through that garden. As we feel the Spirit of God walking throughout the lands, throughout the earth, throughout the grounds of the lands. And he said, where are thou? And he said, over here, my Lord. Over here, Father. Over here, God. But why are you over there? Because we are naked. And right then, by God knowing everything as the scriptures read. Preach the word, King. That's the word. You preach it. As God know everything. No. This man preaching the word. This man preaching the word. Has God over everything? I'm sorry for the inter interruption. Now we're going to jump right back into it. Now this is how we're going to do it. Now God gave Adam and Eve commands. To not eat from the tree of life. He give us commands. The scripture give us commands. The Ten Commandments, the Ten Commandments give us commands. If we do right, we worship the Lord, we obey our mother and our father, and we abide by the rules of life. We have an intimate relationship with God because anybody can go to church. But the church ain't going to save you.
but it's your relationship with God that's going to save you. Now, we got God believers, we got non-God believers, but I'm a true believer in God. And I believe this is the first man and woman that we talking about, Adam and Eve. Now, God asked, how did you knew? Who told you that you was naked? And then the first thing they holler out, the serpent beguiled us. But did I tell you not to eat from the tree of life? Or if you come home as a teenager and your daddy is either spread a rod or spoil the child and your daddy disciplined you and you feel your dad do, did you wrong but did mom say stay away from the wrong crowd walk with the right crowd do not do drugs then you end up doing that alcohol drinking that alcohol and you end up doing something wrong or you making a child at a young age or you end up getting raped or getting abducted because you was out of your mind because of that drug because of that alcohol but as a parent do they have that right to tell you that right well i feel god had that right to tell adam and eve you could eat from any tree that you want that you want to but do not eat of the tree of life because they were naked and they didn't even know it and if they did not eat that fruit will we all have ever everlasting life today will we not fear death today because if you understand how scripture read when they ate that fruit God made the serpent crawl on his belly for the rest of his days and the woman he gave you will suffer with childbirth the tussle the, th the tussle and man you will work with your hands till the ground for the rest of your days plant your own crops plant your own food create your own garden create your own home and I, he will provide knowledge but it ain't going to be no more easy living because you was a child but when he removed him up out of the garden Adam became a man he became a woman but all he had to do was listen. All he had to do was be the man. He should have enforced rules that God gave him before he he put Eve, Adam in that deep sleep and created and created a woman from his rib. Then that was Eve. It's a lot of us being begun nowadays. It's a lot of us being misled nowadays. Either we can work a nine to five, like we was taught by mom and dad. Either we can sell drugs. Either we can not work. Either we can do alcohol, drink, drink beer, or sleep with women, or sell our bodies for the rest of our life. We got to know right and wrong. That's what God wanted Adam and Eve to know. The do's and the don'ts of life. I remember I started off doing weed. But I had a choice that my mama gave me. Because she was a single parent. I had a dad off and on. But I had a mom full time. And she enforced the rules. But I chose to do what I wanted to do. And that was get high. That was run the streets and fight. But when I hit that shirt, I seen everything clearly. But just like Adam and Eve, 
when I ate of the tree, that tree of life, God said, man know right from wrong. They are, they are, they are as like us. They know how to do right and wrong. Now, I know how to do right and wrong. Just as the scripture read, when I was a child, I did childish things. But when I became a man, but when I became a man, I have a choice to live by the word or misguide God's children with the word. If I see a young man in the streets today, I'm going to tell him if he asks me. Or if I see him down on his knees and I want to know why. And I ask him why and he tell me, I say, you don't do that. Your eyes have became open. His eyes was closed. When a child is born, their eyes are bleary, what research tell us. But as they grow, they begin to see. God still provided. As many of us nowadays get caught up, as Adam and Eve did, if we pray, he'll give us a chance. You got to remember, he gave them twins, Cain and Abel. Cain slayed Abel. God told him to bring the best crops to the field, to the front, to the altar, from their field, from their chores, from what they was doing. There is, is such as the tent, their ties. God liked it. What Abel brought. He liked what Cain brought, but God felt that he could have did a little bit better. And he looked at him funny, and he asked him, why do you look at me like this? And Cain's jealousy was different than God's jealousy. Cain committed murder. He slayed his brother out of jealousy about what he had did about his reward his blood hit the ground and God asked him why do your brother blood cry from the earth he thought he got away with it he put a bounty on his head But even though Cain had to go off and Abel died, God is still a good God. He blessed them with seed, with another child, gave them life more abundantly. So we should do right and wrong. No, we should do right. Should we obey God? Yes. We should listen to the word. We should do right by a wife. And the wife should be do right by a husband. The man should raise his child. The husband and the wife should, what, should raise their child. If you're a single parent. You should raise your child right. Should you spare the rod? No. Should you discipline your child? Yes. Should you beat your child just to beat them? No. Should we say no to drugs? Yes. Should we test the forbidden fruit? No. Should we stay away from the, the spa fruit? Yes. She would be seated with the good fruit. Yes. Do God give chances? Yes. Do God give blessings? Yes. Is the tempter Satan still busy? Yes. Because God is a good God. He do not make mistakes as the scripture reads.
fact they disobeyed God's voice. But should you give up, even though you don't have the luxury and the pleasure to live, know you shouldn't. When he would try to get you down, you got to go forward. You got to live. You shouldn't give up. And the dust to the ground, he went back. But as a wise man once told me, by Jesus came down for all men's sin, they had a chance to be judged again. So, I hope I made it to you clearly, and I hope you like this video. I'm uh, Apostle Keith, Tyrone and Keith Huffman Sr. I'm going to say a prayer for you. That old simple prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. And give us this day our daily bread. And forgive our debts as we forgive our debt. Meaning, and forgive our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thou is the kingdom, power, and glory forever. Amen. Get out and work, live your life, do right by God, do right by others, and others will do right by you. You trust no man but God. Trust the decision that comes towards you, and let it be the right decision. The woman, one of the greatest blessings of all, Proverbs 30 and 30 and, uh, Chapter, uh, if I'm not mistaken, 31 and 30. Beauty is for see. Ah, oh, I'm sorry. I'm awful. I'm nervous and I'm awful. Enough. So, favor is deceitful. Beauty is in vain. The woman who feared the Lord, she shall be praised. So, he was a woman of God. Cain was a man of God. This before Christ days I'm speaking of. God bless. In Jesus' name, amen.